Welcome to Menu Outside. I'm sitting in my pickup truck. Uh, pastor Brent, the past senior pastor of our church, Brighton Assembly God Church in Brighton, Missouri, shot a buck a while ago, and uh, he hit it kind of high in the back, but it fell right there, and he thought it was dead, but he ended up getting up, crawling by his front legs down the timber. And uh, we looked for blood and found blood and tracked it for a long time. And I got a friend of ours to go to our church. His name is Caleb uh, Perry, and um, he has a... a a drone service called Game Changer Drone Service, and he has a thermo drone, and he does this for people. He finds uh, deer that they can't find, so I called him. He's on his way. He's going to be here in just a little bit. Uh, hopefully, we'll find this buck. It's not a huge buck, but you still want to find it, right? And so we're going to go do that. And he's going to be here probably in just a few minutes, and uh, you'll see how this works. How these guys run these drones to find these deer that you just lose blood on or just and you know it's dead or whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure this deer is dead, but there's no way of knowing that for sure. We're gonna take a bow with us with, with uh, a couple arrows, make sure in case we have to shoot again, because you just never know about these deer. And we're gonna try to find it with this drone. I hope we find it, but I'll show you how it works. It's pretty interesting. And, I, and uh, I've seen his drone, it's really cool. But uh, just stay right there. Let's see how this pans out. It's gonna pan out good, I hope. And I bet it did because you're watching this. So let's go. All right, it being dark, we're going to be using flashlights. That is Caleb Perry right there. He's got his drone out. He put a landing pad out here. Right there. That's cool. That is some camera now. It's a thermal imaging camera. Gonna be your spotlight. Eight thousand lumens. No way. <laughs> oh geez. Eight thousand lumens. Spotlight. Wow. Okay, but he kind of act like he's come back up this way. Yeah, I, I tracked him all the way up here and I lost it. Up in here? Yeah. Okay. yeah there's... You think he came back out in this field? I don't know. I don't think he would, but you never know about him. I mean, he was, I mean the last blood trail was uh, 20 yards in the wood line there. Okay. We'll see what we can find. Guess we weren't tracking him backwards, were we? From where we, no, there was a lot more blood lot more. going in. Yeah, you just found a spot here, a spot yeah. there. Yeah. Oh my you can watch it on this big screen. Yeah. No Good. way. No way. <laughs> Tell us when you turn our lights off or whatever. We need like you're good. To so, don't bother me at all. Yes, they do. It's <laughs> the biggest thing. Need some cold weather and get rid of them. Let me know when you're about to take off. I'm okay. gonna get over there and get a get that on video. That's good. That, light, that lights it up really good. Wow. Scare me to death around that dog. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I don't even really think about that. You said he found one today or yesterday? Yesterday. 
Really? It took okay. me about 10 seconds to find no it. No way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. And I more took off and he was in the field the guy shot him in. No. Wow. Aircraft entered altitude zone. Yeah, so you think he's in here? Yes. He, he shot him, actually. He was sitting over there, which is about right here in this corner. Okay. And it was out here, and he went down here, and then we tracked him along a fence row here. Okay. And then it didn't turn and cut up that direction, and that's where we lost it. Okay. But he could have went down this valley here, or he could be further back in yeah, there. It's like just, just following that fence line. Yeah, mainly there. was, wasn't he? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can find. An anomaly there. No. It'll show up bright red. Oh, it, it will. will. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sure why my stuff changed. There we go. That looks better. Can you fly? On a full battery, I should have changed it before I started it off, but a full battery you can get about 30 to 35 minutes. Oh, that's pretty good. This one has to change here pretty quick and even pay attention to that. I'm hoping for the 10 second deal. <laughs> that can't be, it's still pretty thick through here though. Yeah, it is. The red on the trees up from the sun, that's from the sun the, is still yep. warm. Yep. Wow. You can see that. Yeah. That's awesome. I think you'd go right, right here. Yeah, there's something right there. That's crazy. Like military stuff, isn't it? Oh, I'm telling you. Is that it? Mm, yeah, just a bow. That's a deer. Bell. Dude, did you see that? That's a deer right there. You can see it. Fast. Oh, no. You bring it back? Yeah, it'll come right back. I need to pay attention to my battery life. Okay, that's Start right. it off. Wow. Coming down. Yep. <laughs> to protect itself. Yep. That that's cool. it got 360 centers all the way around it. <laughs> the coolest thing. I'm gonna sell my house and buy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I buy one, I have to sell my house. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is that last time, Caleb? I think it went up south. 
through a few behind trees. That's wild. I would have never. More than I thought there would be, actually. I mean, I would have never. Get, it was a pretty cool day. Not sure that's a deer or not. I think it's a little too small. No, fox. The, the, it fox. It's a coyote. Oh, coyote. It's a coyote. Yeah, yeah. It's a coyote. Man, that is that's crazy how clear that is. It's pitch dark out there. Oh my gosh. Oh my no. gosh. That is so clear. Another doe. <laughs> Three deer. What you just see him walking along there? That's amazing. That is so wild. Now you can see what the outlaw is <laughs> for, <laughs> right. hunting, for hunting purposes. You're right. That really is amazing. What's that? That's what I was wondering. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, no way. Huh. I guess that it just collects heat. Yeah. Collect heat. I haven't seen that before. No, I not why. It's coming in. There we are. He's going to change the battery. Another battery. I'm gonna show you the clarity of this camera. This is nighttime. It is pitch dark, and that's how well that doe shows up. The camera, the uh, the drone is 162 feet in the air, in the pitch blackness. That's the pitch blackness right there. That is crazy. It is so. Good buck, isn't it? That was a good one. Wow. That's not him. No, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Look how healthy he is. Yeah, he's a stud. <laughs> uh, at least we know there's one buck out here. Yeah, that's a nice buck right there. Yeah. I wouldn't pass him up. Mm -mm. Would you, Caleb? No, I would mm -mm. not. Not the good one. Look at him, what's he doing? He's watching does. I know, but he's kind of rocking, butt's kind of rocking. All right, we have searched for this deer. We've seen all kinds of deer, and as you're going to see on this video right here, as you uh, um, as already seen on this video. And uh, we've had a good time. We didn't find it yet. We're going to come back probably tomorrow. We'll do some looking tomorrow for the for the deer itself. If we don't find it, you just don't find it. Sometimes it happens. But I'm going to talk to Caleb Perry right here right quick. Now, Caleb, how long, you just, is your first year? My first year doing it, so. Yep. And you went to a school in Ohio to yep. learn how to run this drone. Yeah, I did the drone deer recovery guy. Yeah. I yep. bought all the kit from him and went to schooling or did training with him. And this is a huge investment for you and your family. Definitely. And uh, But it's something you love doing. You've yep. already found a few deer for some yep. people this year. Yep. This and how far, what kind of a radius would you go on to look for a deer for somebody? I'm a fling, as far as they're willing to call, say. I mean, <laughs> not Alaska or something like no, that. No, not probably not that far, but <laughs> but into Kansas if you needed to, yep. or, or uh, Iowa, yep. or places like that. Yep. But uh, of course, the further you go, obviously the more you have to charge. Yeah, that's mileage charge. Now, to do that. you have like a, a, a certain radius where you just charge? Okay, if I go here, it's two hundred dollars, and if I find the deer, it's four hundred. How's that work? I have a base rate of three hundred dollars to come out and search for it. Okay. And if I find it, it's an additional fifty. And anything over a thirty or a sixty mile round trip from my house in Pleasant Hope is an additional dollar a mile, so a thirty mile one way. 
Okay. And 30 mile back. All right. So he's talking about Pleasant Hope, Missouri. So y'all can Google that, find out where that's at, find out if you're close enough, you want them and make it worth it. And I'm going to put on here uh, for Caleb, I'm going to put on here a contact and all that stuff. But people can call you. Yep. That's the best way to get a hold of you. Call Call or text. Uh, Phone number is 417-448-4196. Okay. I'd be happy to help you if you need your, ever need your, a deer found. And, And the name of your business is? Game Changer Drone Recovery. Game changer drone recovery. It's yes, really sir. cool. I'm just telling you folks, we have seen some really cool stuff here. I'm just and Pastor Brand, he's running, he's sitting right there. Look at that light he's got flashing right there, but he's he's with us right here. But uh boy, we have this has been experience for us. We have loved it. We've seen some cool animals. We saw armadillos, we saw possums, we saw raccoons, we saw coyotes, uh, we saw of course a lot of deer and uh, just had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, we're gonna come back and look for this deer later, but this has been a great video right here. I hope you enjoyed it and appreciate you watching me and you outside. I appreciate you watching this episode. appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button. Comment if you want to about anything about drone recovery, what you think about it, and that kind of thing. It's legal here in the state of Missouri. It's only been legal for a couple of years. Isn't that right? No, this first year it became legal. This is our first year yep. became legal. Yep. You cannot go scouting for deer or anything like that, but for, for recovering deer, recovery only. the Conservation Department let, it, uh, let you do that. So it's all legal for him to do this, and uh, it's, it's quite an experience. So wherever you're at in this whole world, my friends, have a good morning, good day, good night for another video's coming right around the corner.